yesterday was the hottest day on you know for 20 years in the UK at 35 degrees or something and we had a really hot sweaty night um, I got up at three o'clock to start bringing us back because uh, or bringing us up north because the uh, the tides were good then and uh, the wind as is so often the way on our holidays been southwesterly forever I'm gonna go in the northeasterly direction and the day we leave it goes northeasterly so um, I decided uh, I decided to get up early when the wind's not that strong and come up here and now the wind's just starting to build where the finish is in sight so um, it's been a pretty uneventful journey other than I have just motored the whole way because there's been either no wind or it's been completely on our nose um, uh, other than that it's been all right really not much to say but of course there's not really been much filming because it was um, it was dark when we left the sun came out and it was clearish skies with some broken clouds but actually quite pleasant but very quickly this high top high layer of grey cloud has come over and it's been miserable uh, and of course I haven't really seen much because it's all been too early in the morning it's um, was it half past eight now or something like that so uh, pretty miserable anyway on the positive side I fixed the uh, Fix the auto helm, which again, as these things do, the day before we plan to we leave on holiday, it decided not to work. Turned out just to be a loose cable, but it took me ages to find it. Uh, and of course, couldn't do much searching in the dark. Um, I've tightened up the guard rails, uh, put the dodgers on, it's just bits and pieces. Been quite good actually. Being flat water and no wind and nothing to do gives you plenty of motivation to get those jobs done that need doing. Anyway, it's a boat to film and we're coming up to Shotley, so um, I'll put the camera down. So in case that wasn't completely clear, we were heading from the southeast corner of England on the River Medway, where that red dot is, up the east coast to the point at which the River Orwell and the River Stour meet, which is where they meet the North Sea and where Shotley Marina is located. Now you have to lock into Shotley Marina, following this channel from a buoy out in the River Stour in towards a lock. Unfortunately, the camera went flat at this point, so you won't get to see it. But trust me, it all went okay. And if you watch next week, you'll see us lock out. In other words, do this journey in reverse, if you're at all interested. Hello, we are at Shotley. Oh my goodness, we left at three, three. o'clock this morning. Um, we left Stangate Creek. Well, we had to nap, not really. But. Exhausted. Um, I don't even know what the time is now. Like 12. Is that all? Yeah. Oh goodness, we've had lunch and everything. Um, we're just gonna go for a little walk because we can't sleep now. Just... And we've lost stuff for the davits. Yeah, we bought these um, davits. Who to blame? No, not me. We bought davits and then we've lost the bolts. The plan was to fix the davits whilst we're on holiday. Fine, we've got the davit bits and the base and this other thing and now we've lost the bolts. We're not doing very well. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm on a hoverboard. Izzy's on a hoverboard, she hasn't grown that much. Yes, but I am like up to her ears. Winnie? No, do you want to eat that? Oh, good spot, Izzy. Yes. We have managed to fit one of these on the boat. It's not that big. It's only oh, 10 it's kilos. 10 kilos? It weighs a ton. Oh. So, we found the washers and the bolts. Before, luckily, we spent our money in a chandlery. Um, Mum? In a children's bucket. Because, of course, that's where you store 20 pounds worth of bolts and washers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You are if you're me. <laughs> anyway, um, the two the two engineers of the family are now going to work out how yeah, to put it together. Yeah, but we haven't done two of the homes big enough, so we're having to redo. Oh no! Of course, everything's going perfect until two holes aren't right. Right. Daddy hasn't got any of his machining tools here. I've got a drip. He's got a drip, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, this. 
So what's these too small two, is? These two aren't big enough. These two are fine. It's them yeah. two. Right. Oh. Heavy. Mm-hmm. And what have you got in your hand? The the elusive bolts that we lost. Yep, we had to convert them into two grubs. Why? Why are they this big? <laughs> They're like the size of my palm. Heavy job to do. Right, didn't lose it. No, nope, we don't want to lose any. Oh no, not There's okay. six there. And then Dad, you should still have one. No, there is only ten, so if there's six there, it's five of each. That's oh, no. four, yeah. so you're, you still oh, have one. Oh, and I'll, and I'll put it it's on the bump somewhere. It fits. Right, okay. Can I take it off now? Right, okay, well the next thing is anyway, we're going to need to find some spanners that fit that. So davits were going to be a must-have on any boat we built. It's just that restricting yourself to boats that already have davits seriously restricts the boats that are available to you. So I found these on eBay, and although they were meant to be bolted onto a horizontal surface, and like most boats, the only convenient surface to bolt davits onto is a vertical surface, i.e. the transom, I got these stainless plates made up, and they fitted just fine. I've got an adjustable spanner here that I do for one, and then you've got to find the spanner in the box to do it. So that first one, yes. you can't get a washer on, you just put a nut on it. But the middle one, if you can, we'll get a washer on. So is this in a normal position in a locker? The worrying thing is, is she's only an inch shorter than me, so soon, because she's going to overtake me, that'll be my job again. I'm scared I'm going to drop. Which way do I go? Righty-tighty. I'm really scared okay. I'm going to drop this. Come just see my hand. Going in? Going in? Yeah, it's going, but okay. very slowly because I don't want to drop no, that's it. That's right. Well, once you've started it, you haven't got to worry about it cut falling, falling off. off, have you? Okay, Izzy didn't fit in the next locker because there's a gas bottle in the way, so she's having to do the outside. Whatever that was, it was disgusting. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's 30 plus degrees. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, you do. We could dangle Izzy off it. I'll dangle the hammock oh. off it. <gasps> we could dangle the hammock off it. By the way, we brought a hammock from home. Okay. <laughs> Just don't watch me. Oh, I was watching the moment that we get our davits fitted. Why are they going like that? Oh, oh, there's oh. a fish! Yeah. Oh, it's creaking a bit more, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. It's wobbling. It's wobbling. It's wobbling because I'm wobbling. Dad, please it. don't fall in. Well, we need to... Um, that's just dry fitted. We need to seal it all. Oh, I've okay. got a bit of weld to redone, done. So, oh, but, um, really? It'll be alright for this holiday, though. So. Uh, Can we try the hammock now? If it takes my weight, then the two what of them are going to take our rubber do? dinghy. So. Mm. Can we try the hammock? No. Not I was hammock. teasing about that. <laughs> Oh no, I was. Oh, you need the dinghy though next time. Oh no, we've got to blow it up. Yes! Lots of container ships here. Docks go on forever. They blocked my footpath off. We go for a walk around the marina here, and they've built this big fence. I could fit. We used to just climb over that gate, but obviously we're not climbing over that anymore. I could fit. And this fence goes on forever. Lovely marina shot leap with some lovely boats in it, but like every marina, there's always some boats going green in the corner somewhere. Look at that nice Beneteau. What a 
little wave. And that nice Francis. Francis isn't actually in such bad condition. Yeah, but that Benito is a waste. Yeah. Give it to us, we look after it. <laughs> I suppose you've got to get out of it, haven't you? But... So this is a strange looking boat, isn't it? Very old, traditional kind of hull shape. But we've, um, can't remember the name of that rig now, with the wishbone. And normally it's a carbon mast, but possibly it's carbon sheathed in wood because it's unstayed. But uh, either way, anyway, kind of a modern rig, unusual modern rig at that, on a very traditional looking boat. So we've had a lovely dinner and some wine. And we're just walking back. Um, Winnie's had a lovely time. We've done the Davids, which is really cool, but now our fridge is broken. And do you know how much gin and tonic I've bought? You need to get that fridge working. Anyway, I'm sure he will. So this is the end of our first night. Ah! <laughs> Had a lovely time. Mm -hmm.